After Roman Reigns was dethroned at WrestleMania, the bloodline has crumbled from the inside. After the Usos lost their championships and failed to help the Tribal Chief in a time of need, emotions flared, and Jimmy Uso did the unthinkable. How will the Tribal Chief respond now, gaining the confidence of a new championship, and find out who is next to declare for the upcoming Royal Rumble? Everyone thinks that being fat is something to be ashamed of, but not me. In fact, I can't even fathom being a little stick skeleton man running around with no meat on me bones. Or the women that everyone praises like supermodels. These women need to eat a steak or something, cause if I had my way with them, I'd break them in two. This is what a real man looks like. I'm dead sexy. I need me a real woman. I need some thickness in me life. I like me women big. I like me males big. And I like me cook big. So screw your six packs. You're all insecure with yourselves. You're all tryhards. While I'm over here loving life, eating whatever I want, not worried constantly about counting calories or what body fat percentage I am. Fat is the only way to be. And if you have a problem with that, then you can get in my belly. Oh, no, whoa! Wait, there's Brock Lesnar interrupting whatever the hell that was! He's just hauling ass on Fat Bastard! What the hell? Oh my god! It looks like Fat Bastard can also consider his ass whoopings big too! I hate fat people. Enough said, I guess! Help me up with this, will ya? Hello, I'm Gary Martin, and I'm here with a man that will be one of 30 superstars in the upcoming World Hardcore Championship Royal Rumble match. Please welcome Rey Mysterio. So, Rey, it's been a while since we've seen you here in WSC. I know you've been dealing with personal issues, so what's your mindset coming into this big match? It's no secret that I've been dealing with some personal issues for the past year. My son has turned his back on our family but I can't keep worrying about that. I hope someday he comes to his senses and comes home, but now I've got to focus on the Royal Rumble. Well, if it isn't the great Rey Mysterio, the greatest masked wrestler of all time, I mean, I'd cover my face with a mask too if I was a fugly five foot four, 50 year old who looks like he's 12. Hey, you better watch your mouth. The only good thing you ever did in your life is make a hot daughter for guys like me to have my way with. You don't talk about my daughter like that. Or what, Rey? Kid, I don't even know who you are. You're coming off mad disrespectful. At the Royal Rumble, I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm Maxwell Jacob Friedman. I'm the man who's gonna win the whole damn thing. I'll see you in the Rumble, little man. Asshole. Kenny, with the Royal Rumble coming up, how do you feel entering what will be your third Rumble match? I'm excited, Renee. It's time for a change around here. The Shield have been hogging the spotlight for years. But now it's good to see Cody Rhodes, who I've gotten to know very well over the years now as the hardcore champion. But I know I can beat Cody Rhodes. And at the Royal Rumble, no one is going to stop me from winning that match and becoming the world hardcore champion. Uh, well, I can agree this place needs some fresh faces. Only one of us can win the Royal Rumble. So, may the best man win. Oh, he will. I agree. He will. Look at me. I'm over here holding championship gold, y'all. I'm a Grand Slam champion. Now the entire multiverse will acknowledge me. There's so many options now. I, I can, I can go back in time, smash all your favorites, smash the so-called greats, or maybe, if you want to get a little wacky, I can be the best this entire multiverse has to offer because it doesn't matter what universe it is. I'm the greatest of all time! And then there's you two. No times disgracing your bloodline, committing treason against your tribal chief. But hey, I'm a generous tribal chief. So I'm gonna give you guys a chance. Fall in line. Acknowledge me as your tribal chief. Let's go back to run on this business. But the only way we can do that is if you fall in line. And you listen 
to the trouble chief. So go ahead, acknowledge me. You the chief, man. You the tribal chief. I'm with you. You the head of the table. You the head of the table. Well, it looks like they've made their choice. Actually, there's one more thing. You see, as the tribal chief, the head of the table, I can't let what happen. Go unpunished. So long. Bring me a chair. What? What's he talking about? What does he have planned for the you use of? To set an example. We can't have problems like this. You need to understand your place. Jay, I want you to take this. Now strike, strike your brother. No. No, come on. Anything but that. Come on now, Roman. He this kicked me much. in the face. He, he cost, cost me my championship. I, I need, need it to, to be you. Because, because I, I need, need you, you both to understand. understand. Don't make me ask twice. This is ridiculous. This is... He's asking too much of Jey Uso right now. They've made their choice. That, that should be enough. They acknowledge their tribal chief, but Roman still wants more. Jimmy seemingly saying it's okay, do it, just to get past all this, but this is such a terrible thing to ask someone to do to hit your own I, I, brother. I can't look at this, Nathan. I can't look at this. Don't do it, Jay. Oh, wait a oh, second! Wait. Oh! He was about to strike Roman with that chair! Solo! Yeah. Oh! Samoa and Spike to Jay Uso! As Jimmy no! watches helplessly as he suffers the same fate! What is going on? Roman Reigns is a piece of trash. Somebody had to say it, and I'll be the first one. And now he's just hauling ass on Jay. Forcing Jimmy to watch as his brother gets pummeled. This is ridiculous. He has the gold. That should be enough. He had the loyalty of the Usos, but it still wasn't enough for this madman as he just smashes the face of his own family with that belt! Roman Reigns sending a brutal message. What you made me do this? What could you just do? What I am? Jay refused to hurt this his brother. And now Roman had to teach him to not to disobey the tribal chief.